Um, what I think about this postponement or this uh, election is that issue of uh, Nigerian, I think, is coming to, to be better. Uh, the reason why they postponed the election is because of the Nigerian government are not straightforward. And they are coming in with a lot of um, games, which we don't want. Uh, normally, APC, APC is not straightforward, a or uh, PDP. PDP has a lot of promise last uh, election, uh, before uh, APC went on. They promised a lot of things, the road and the light, no one has been done. APC, the, the, the same they did the last election, presidential election. They promised sort and death, this and that, a lot of things, academical stuff and road stuff, light electric stuff, and up to now, nothing has been done. And that's why we have to take time to see what, have, what is going to be happen. And actually, Bwara is not a Nigerian. Atiku is not a Nigerian. That's why for now, election have to start to find out the history. I mean, the postponement was never a good idea because most of the people living in Ghana here, most of them travel down to Nigeria because of the election. Now they cancel it. Do, are you expecting them to move down all the way from Nigeria back to Ghana and wait for next time to go back? It's unfair. At times, when Nigerian leaders are doing something, they should put their masses first before them. They should put their masses at heart before they do anything. Most of the citizens there who wedding has been budgeted by this week, being 23rd of February, because of the election, they canceled it. Now, are they expecting the, the masses to also shift their wedding date because of the election, which is not good? They canceled it last week. And the annex say that you must vote in, in the place you registered your election, which does it, it, the, it is not helping. The way they are, they are doing the election is as if all masses, in fact, to me, I would advise that all masses should stay at home, they should not vote. Because I find no reason why they should cancel the election. Because the ballot boards, the ballot paper, I watched on Al Jazeera on Friday, everything they brought it, they have bring them. So we have no reason of canceling the election. Now, this one of my friends had the plan of traveling, which he traveled because of the election. Lo and behold, on his arrival, they canceled the election. He came back this morning, being Monday. So what do you expect me, me, me? Now, is he encouraging me to join him, travel back to, to Nigeria next week because of the election? I can't because, one, the Nigerian government is not even benefiting me. We have been saying it is not the first time. 2011, they, do, they did the same thing. 2015, they did the same thing. I know at the end of the day we will vote, but my only prayer is that they should make the election happen that next week they promise us, which is Saturday. They should not adjoin it again that they are giving us another excuse. They should please and please, it should come to pass on that, that Saturday. We should know the fate. Everybody should know the new government is coming in or the old government is continuing. Either one of them should continue. We just want peaceful election. They should please and please, they should make it peaceful. Uh, on a good day, it's my right to go and vote. But because my vote is my right. But I can't go home just because one or two things. But I have family there. They will vote. All my family members will vote. That's why I'm praying that they should just please and make it peaceful election for us. I think it's a it's, um, good initiative, you know. Because I think there's a lot of violence in the city, even in the village, everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere is a crowd of violence. Everybody is trying to do, use his chance for, because of the election, you know. Killing, you know, assaulting, you know, I don't know why. I'm not in Nigeria, you understand what I'm saying, but I don't know why all these things is going on, but it's, it's not making sense. Yes, the response is good because Nigeria, they are having problem between between three major language in Nigeria, Igbo, Hausa, and Yoruba. So maybe Biafra, they are fighting for their own freedom. Maybe that will be the case they postpone the election. So, but if it will work, I will also support for them to vote for Nigeria because we want Nigeria. Me, actually, I want Nigeria to be one. A very bad decision. Why I say why is that our 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 government know what is happening in Nigeria? You get 
let him, let him, let him, he know why he stopped the election. Do you get me? He know why he stopped it. Due to their political and ambition, or what would I say? Do you get? They are just, they are just trying to dialogue all issues that they get. You get? Processing everything too much. To vote. The only thing is that let's let people over there to to vote to our our new president. Maybe they they could let the, let the old one come down so that the new one will come in. My, the road is too far. I can't go. Let people over there vote. The, my opinion about the postponements of, uh, of the election, I don't know what INEC did in Nigeria, but I think INEC uh, has a reason for whatever they did to postpone the election. In my own, in my, if, in my own take, I think that I, INEC has a reason. They want to take everybody by surprise. Probably some people want to maneuver and then rig the election. Because there's some um, news coming on the social media that uh, election is out somewhere in Abia State, and this is uncalled for. So if you ask me, I think INEC did a very good job. But though Nigerians may not see it now, uh, but uh, maybe in the near future they will understand that INEC did a very good job to, to postpone it. Of course, uh, the plans will be there, but then the time will not be there. We have the, the, uh, the, the, the idea of going, but then the timing will not be here. Uh, every, every individual wants to cast their votes. All we are asking is that let our vote count. Yeah, let our vote count because yeah, we want a change in Nigeria.